Hi, second grade. Today's question is, who can be an artist? Can everyone be an artist? How's it going, second grade? So today we are going to be finishing. If you weren't here last time, what we did was we started adding paint to our creations. You'll need a paper towel, a water cup. You can share this with your partner. And of course, the paint palette. I wanna go over some of the techniques that we have been discussing. So obviously everyone knows how to watercolor paint, but I wanna make sure you know all the different ways you can create texture. Let's say I use a rubbing plate and I wanna add some texture to these mountains without working very hard. I can take it, add a little bit of color with any color crayon. You can even use white and get that effect that looks like ice, but I kinda want this to look like a mountain in the distance. So already I like it a lot, but if I take some color, dip, let it drip, I'm gonna go for like this purpley. And you can see that the paint is separating. Wherever I put the wax, the blue will shine through. So that looks a little bit more realistic and I barely had to do anything. So that is nice. All right, but today you're going to be in charge of finishing 100%. If you used salt last time, you can kind of wipe it away and see what it did. And you can see all the little dots in there. Pretty interesting. <gasps> yeah, please get rid of that salty, crusty, dusty mess. I'm gonna go ahead and Continue working. If you decide you want to use the salt too, remember what you do is you put the water paint down first. The watercolor paint needs to go and touch the paper first before you add the salt. We have a couple different salt containers. Just take one and sprinkle it on. Just a little is all you need, and then you leave it alone. So I'm looking for 100% color today. Take your time, add texture, add the wax resist, add salt. Make it your own. This is all about experimenting and making something beautiful out of something we normally don't see, which is the icebergs. All right, so I'm about done. Paintbrush is gonna go in the water cup. A um, Couple more techniques. If you ever make a mistake or there's too much water, just take your paper towel and soak it right back up. So like right now, there's just too much blue. I want more of a kind of a muted blue. Doesn't that look real? I love it, love it, love it. Of course, leave the salt on. You don't need to take it off. This goes on the drying rack. Paintbrush goes in the water cup. Water cup goes in the sink. If you have a rubbing plate, please put it back. Close your paint tray when you and your partner are done. Please show me before you put it on the drying rack. I would love to see it. And I'm so excited to see what you guys come up with.